The Hopkinton Women's Club hosted the 32nd annual Meet the Candidates Night. The five contested races this year are Board of Selectmen, Planning Board two-year term, Town Moderator, Parks and Recreation Commission, and Trust Funds Commissioner. Here's a look at the candidates who attended Meet the Candidates Night in the contested races. I've been privileged to serve as Town Moderator. Uh, I committed uh, three years ago to being informed on the issues that will come before town meeting, to be nonpartisan in terms of the conduct of the meeting, and to, be, to, to conduct a meeting that's efficiently run so that we're mindful and respectful of the time of those Hopkinton voters who do end up participating in our town meeting. We residents have the opportunity to participate in governing at town meeting. This year, we'll be talking schools, the fire department, infrastructure, and an almost $100 million budget. As Hopkinton's town moderator, I will commit to ensuring that all voices are heard, that our town meeting is efficient, and we keep moving forward together. I was uh, with the Board of Assessors here a number of years ago. Uh, as the Deputy Assessor, I spent 10 years being employed by the Town of Hopkinton. And then I worked for the State Senate for 10 years, State Senator David Mignani, who uh, represented Hopkinton and the surrounding communities, and I was his district director. I am running because as we enjoy the community resources, we believe in giving back. My dad was active in community services and taught us the same values. That is why I joined the Appropriations Committee four years ago, as soon as we came to this town. I am running because Hopkinton is going through an important growth and transition time, and I can add value with my strategic leadership, planning, and budget experience. I've never voted in a town other than Hopkinton. I'm finishing up my first term as selectman in May and hope that you'll vote for me so I can serve a second. <coughs> Professionally, I'm a full-time nurse manager in a dementia unit. I deal with very sensitive and emotionally charged situations each and every day. I rest my hat on my decision-making process in that it's nothing but honest and fair. I offer leadership focused on keeping Hopkinton a prosperous and well-managed town and maintaining our strong schools, our community character, and our quality of life. I've lived in Hopkinton for almost 40 years, almost my entire adult life. And for about 30 of those, I've served this town on a wide variety of boards and committees. Um, I was attracted all those years ago to the small town that we were, and in particular, the lakes, the trails, the parks, the incredible natural resources that we have here. They're very special and near and dear to my heart. My goal, if elected, is to use both my local and professional knowledge to help enhance and maintain the use of our assets in a responsible way to continue providing memorable experiences for all the people of Hopkinton. I heard why Hopkinton was a great place to live, because of all these bylaws and how the town was structured, and, and it was all a great place to live. In recent years, um, my dad, like many others, some of that positive has turned more into concern and that's what basically was the straw that broke the camel back and that concern from people that talked to me caused me to run for planning board and help uh, step up and do something to be the voice of those people that have concern but I did I was on the library trustees for three terms and I was there when the library the old library and now obviously the new library and to be honest you know doing it after three terms I'm, I'm ready for something else and I've always been intrigued with the planning board and the issues are, that the planning board wrestles with. And you know, building and all the development is such a hot topic. So I think, I thought I learned a lot in the planning board. I loved it. I worked with Susan, it was awesome. But I'm, I'm just ready for a change. I think I can bring a fresh perspective. The, the commissioners have three principal duties. The first is managing and controlling the funds. The second is ensuring that the very complicated and strict legal terms of each trust are adhered to. And the last is ensuring that the wishes of the benefactors are honored. 
The HCAM annual contested races debate will take place Wednesday, May 1st, starting at 7 p.m. Town election is May 20th.